Death is the one prophecy that has never failed. You could leave life right now, let that determine what you do and say and think. We put things off to the future. I'll start a family later. I'll follow my dream job later. I'll start that company later. Um, we, we need more and more time because what we're not doing is being present. We're not taking advantage of what's in front of us right now. When you're gone, how do you want to be remembered? As, uh, not only as an entertainer, but as a person who, who cared a lot. Um, and I gave the best that I could. And I tried to be the best role model that I, that I possibly could and, and the best person that I could. I tried to help out. I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job, is to spark somebody else watching us. And since then, for the past 33 years, I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. When I questioned that method of portrayal, a different path opened up for me. The path to my destiny. When God has something for you, it doesn't matter who stands against it. I don't know what your future is, but if you are willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Now, this is your time. <laughs> My mother was wonderful, and she said, always try to look at the upside, not the downside. For me, it's being able to touch and affect people in a positive way, and have, have music that, that lasts for a long time, have a long career, and um, just, you know, being able to be influential in, in a positive way. I've come to the conclusion that you never take for granted the people that come to see you play. Very blessed, you know, I learned a lot. I've been doing this for seven years now, so I totally feel like a veteran, even though I'm still very young. So it's, it's really amazing, and I, I feel very, uh, I'm happy, you know, I, uh, doing what I've always wanted to do. It's very simple. You have to dance beautifully in the box that you are comfortable dancing in. Everybody's box is different. My box was to be extremely ambitious within the sport of basketball. Your box is different than mine, right? Every kid here has their own box, but it doesn't mean that your box isn't as beautiful as mine, right? Everybody has their own. It's your job to try to perfect it and make it as beautiful of a canvas as you can make it. And if you have done that, then you have lived a successful life. I'm so proud. Not right. mad at that. Not mad at Not that. Mad at that. Oh, you Anything else good. you want to do before we leave? I think I feel good about this. Okay, you guys I'm cool. Are, I'm I, good. I good. We're ending on a good note instead of trying okay. another one and making it.